Greetings, Earthlings. Today, we're taking a look at the Toy Basic computer, which you can see here on your screen. This is a single board computer, which implements a dialect of the basic programming language. Uh, it's integer only. Let me go over what we see on here. Uh, there's a micro USB port for power in. Uh, it's a voltage regulator there, a few uh, stray parts, uh, resistors and such. Um, there's a jumper here, which uh, you use to tell it whether you're talking to a CRT or a printing terminal. Oh yes, well you see it's an RS-232 output, it doesn't have VGA. Of course it doesn't have VGA, because it's trying to emulate um, the uh, a computer from the like 1970s or something. They didn't have VGA then, they had RS-232. Uh, this is the processor. Uh, and that's where basically everything happens. Some switches here to set the baud rate. Uh, there's some flash memory to store your basic programs. Um, think of that as your hard drive or floppy disk, if you will. And this is just the RS-232 interface chip here, the voltage level converter uh, in circuit serial programming interface there. So... We need, uh, we need some 5 volts here. We, well, you know, uh, you know, I got, uh, you probably do too, a bunch of old, uh, oops. Phone chargers. Phone chargers. That's what you need. See that plug right in there? That plug right in there? Let's go. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. We need an RS-232 port, don't we? Uh, let me see. Or it just says terminal. It's your terminal. Wait a minute. Can't just go and plug this thing in. It's got nothing to talk to. All right. Trusty Silent 700 terminal. Everybody's got one. There it is. Okay. There's my serial port. So I'm going to plug that in there. It's already powered on. Isn't that amazing? And, uh, okay, now I can plug in this. Let's see what happens. Let's adjust that. So maybe you can see it. This program comes with absolutely no warranty. For details, type warranty. There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. That's your uh, fortune of the day. Well, or the fortune of the, of the moment, of the reboot. Um, oh, let's look at the board. Okay. Not too exciting, but you see there are two uh, LEDs on there that lit up. That's all you're ever going to see. You're not supposed to look at the board. Okay. Uh, type warranty. Well, let's see. Uh, for stuff like this, what's the... What's the first thing you normally do? You type help. Just see if it'll give you any help at all. Oh, what's this? Read the manual. Okay. Real helpful, thanks, yeah. Uh, well, I happen to have read the manual, so, um, I, and I know how BASIC works. I've been programming in BASIC for years. Let's, uh, list, there's no program. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Um, so, oh, oh, okay. Type size here, um, there you go. This will show you how much memory is available. This uh, processor, this is a PIC 18F26K22, and it has like less than 4K bytes of RAM. So the implementation uh, was done to maximize available RAM. So we've got 3,328 bytes available. That doesn't sound like much, but it's actually okay. As we'll see. 
I've got some program. There are some programs loaded on this uh, that flash memory I, I mentioned. Okay, and here they are. And you see, the most important thing is that it runs um, Hunt the Wumpus. So we'll get to that. But uh, first, uh, let's try load calendar. And we'll run that. Oh, well, yeah, we'll run it. Okay. As we speak, it is June of 2017. So I am going to put in this month. June 2017. And it'll print out a calendar for this month. So today is Saturday the 17th as I record this. Look at that. It got it right. Okay. How did it do it? That's amazing. We can look at the program. If you're not familiar with BASIC, it's a pretty simple programming language. You can learn it in, oh, a few hours, really. Not like uh, some of the other programming languages up there, out there, up there, down there, whatever. Computing leap years and uh, things like that. Now this, this implementation of BASIC, this toy BASIC implementation, uh, is written from scratch in assembly language on the PIC processor. It only supports integer arithmetic which is fine for a lot of stuff, as, as, as you'll see as we go through some of this stuff. And, you know, we'll just let that run. Not that it's really very exciting, but it's a fairly long program, as you can see. Decent sized program. Let's, let's start over. Let's, let's enter our own program, okay? One, print, hello world. Now you'll notice, perhaps, that I can, uh, two, end. <laughs> um, I've used a shortcut as I entered the print command. I can use a semicolon as the print. That's something I got from uh, Data General's implementation of BASIC. And then you'll also notice that... Um, when you list it, it uh, it lists it in a standardized format. So uh, now, I, why did I go one and two? We'll fix that. It's got a renumber command, and if I list it now, it's started it at ten. That's cool, and I'll run that. And hello world, end at uh, twenty. Good. What do you do? Okay. So I had all these other programs. The most amazing thing, the most, absolutely most amazing thing is <clears throat> that this is able to run Hunt the Wumpus. Okay, so we're gonna load Hunt the Wumpus. Um, this is a classic basic game. Um, well, and it shows, oh, uh, it's other size, 169 lines. Uh, the, the instructions are separated out into a separate file because combining them would be too large. In the original program, it's all, it's all one. Um, it's all one big giant program. Bats nearby. Okay, that's good. Shoot or move. Well, let's move. Okay, tunnels lead to, what did that say? Tunnels lead to 2911. Let's go to 2. I feel a draft. A draft means there's a bottomless pit somewhere nearby. Well, we know that's not where we came from in 10, so we could safely go back there. But let's move to uh, 1. We're trying to find the Wumpus, you know? You're in room 1. Okay. Well, that's good. That wasn't the... Uh, that wasn't the bottomless pit. Let's go back. Oh, uh, 
yeah, I am moving back to two. Okay, that means we know the uh, field draft. That's in room three, so let's move to three. Oops, well, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Anyway, uh, that's the program. Um, it's got a slot machine. Simulator. As well. Um, that's Toy Basic. It, uh, you know, you can write your own programs. You can play with what's in there. And uh, basically waste a lot of your time. Uh, $10. Put ten dollars in the machine. I bet three dollars. I feel lucky. Cherry bar berry. Oh, I lost. I have seven dollars. Okay, well I'll bet three. Lemon bar berry. Oh, I lost. I have four dollars. Well, let's go two dollars. Kind of running out of money here. This is this is a little too realistic. I lost again. I have two dollars left. Yeah. Bell. Bell. Orange. Oh, I won four dollars. Oh, oh, I'm back up to four dollars. Oh, that because that was my last two dollars I bet. Well, I'll bet two dollars. I feel lucky. Yeah. Plum. Cherry. Oh no. I have two dollars. Well. Feel a jackpot coming on. Bar. Bar. Berry. Oh. Ten dollar. Ha ha. All right. That's just uh basic.